Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Anita, aka from Curves with Love, aka, okay, I don't have another aka, but <laughs> welcome if you're new. If you're coming back, welcome again. So today I wanted to talk about, I wanted to show you guys a very, 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 very simple eyeshadow tutorial that you can use. You know how um, you want to look like you've made an effort. I mean, obviously it's effort, but like minimal effort, but looking like you put some work into it. So that's the kind of eyeshadow look I want to share with you guys. This is an eyeshadow look I wore yesterday. And I figured why not show you guys immediately after so that today um, I'm sharing it with you guys. And yeah, I hope you guys kind of learn something and I hope you enjoy it. So if you want to see how I achieved a very simple eyeshadow look, which I will insert somewhere here or here, <laughs> keep watching. Yeah, my foundation and my eyebrows are already done, but as you can see, my lips and my eyes are bare. So that's what I wanted to show you guys just to show you how you can elevate your simple makeup looks a little tiny notch higher so it makes you look like you really have made an effort. okay guys oh yeah so just a disclaimer in case you're wondering what i'm wearing on my head it's an old t-shirt that i'm using to um kind of absorb the excess water from my hair because i just washed my hair and then i figured okay i could kind of squeeze in filming a youtube video for you guys and then go back to like finishing styling my hair because i've already washed it so anyway oh yeah and something else, if you find the light like playing around, like going um, like way exposed and not ex really exposed, please forgive me because I'm using a window that's right in front of me. So if it keeps going brighter and like less bright, dimmer or whatever, please excuse me because I'm using natural light to fill. Okay, so like I said, my foundation is done. It's very basic face. It's just foundation and powder. The foundation I'm using is Maybelline uh, Superstay 24 Hour Foundation, which I've shared many, many, many times on this channel. So please check it out. I'll probably link for you guys videos where you can see how I apply my foundation. And then what I've also done is I've done my eyebrows and my previous video was a brow tutorial. So you guys would be able to see that. Like, it's going to be in the description box anyway. So you can find out what I do, how I do my brows and what I use to do my brows. This very simple eyeshadow look is this one right here, which I'm going to... Um, inside a picture so you guys can see what I was talking about and yeah it's a very very simple look I used literally one eye when I say one eyeshadow I mean one eyeshadow and then I used other powders that I normally would use on the other parts of my face so I'm saying this because <laughs> you see with makeup there's so many <laughs> I just kicked my camera there's so many other ways like you can use your face products other than what they're like labeled as to be able to do i don't know if that makes sense for example okay let me just say for example like in my eyebrow tutorial video i used my face powder to kind of um bring color back into my eyes after using the concealer to clean up my brows if that makes sense so in this tutorial i'm going to show you guys how you can use your other facial powder products <laughs> to do your eyes with so it's very simple and I like the fact that makeup is multi-purpose. It's not just suited for one thing. Like your eyeshadow is for your eyes only or your eyeshadow is only for, you know, like your face powder is only for your face and not like your eyes and it's only for contour powder is only for contouring and not for using any on any other part of your body. So that's what I'm trying to say. So let's get into it. Okay guys, I've moved a little bit closer in now so that you can hopefully see my um, my eyes better so as you can see my eyes are pretty bare like the only thing I have actually actually I have nothing on my eyes I only like kind of blended um, the concealer that I usually use to clean up my brows so I only bring it up to my almost at the crease so it's I didn't really put too much today so let's get into the eyeshadow so what I'm gonna use is um, only technically one eyeshadow on my lid the lid area and then I'll use other colors on the rest of my face I mean <laughs> not my face of my eyes so um, I'm gonna use this color I don't know if you can actually see the actual color I think that gives it that angle gives it the best color payoff maybe I'll do a cutaway so this is an eyeshadow from Mina it's huge like I said look at the size of my hand <laughs> and look at the eyeshadow um, it's number 105 and I really 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 love this color they gifted me this by the way thank you Mina Kenya 
and I really really like it I think because I'm afraid of being bold with eyeshadow because I'm afraid of making mistakes I'm those people like if I was doing a shadow I'd want it to look nice the first time which is not the point so I usually use um, very subtle colors like this to teach myself how to you know how to do eyeshadow like how to apply eyeshadow that is so yeah so I'm gonna use this and then I'm gonna start with it so I do have a very old eyeshadow brush this is from elf cosmetics it's like four years old can you see like it's even faded here and I this is the exact same brush actually that I used yesterday but before I apply um, the eyeshadow hold on I think this camera is like yeah that's better <laughs> so before I start with this actually I'm forgetting I'm doing so gosh. before I start with that I'm gonna start with an eye primer this is also from Mina Kenya I was gifted this as well from Mina so it really helps the eyeshadow pop yesterday I used a concealer from Maybelline but today since I'm using um, the Mina shadow yesterday I was just testing the Maybelline concealer today I'm gonna use this Mina shadow so this is how it looks and ooh, I already removed too much so usually what I do is just take a little bit and then um, I have a mirror right here so I just apply very little amount onto my lids okay so I have a tip for you guys now if you know how you hear like if all your favorite like beauty bloggers and makeup artists say that you need a transition color especially if you're using eyeshadow if you're wearing eyeshadow so for me what I do is especially when I'm using very I'm applying very subtle colors I usually like to use my own face powder so it's the same um, color as my skin tone to go into my transition area so from what I understand I'm not a beauty blogger or vlogger but from what I understand that your transition area is the area between your brows and your lid so somewhere right here so for me, what I used yesterday, or in this particular eyeshadow, very simple eyeshadow look, is I used my face powder. So my face powder is MAC. It's a MAC Mineralized Skin Finish, and my shade is dark. And this is how it looks. So I kind of look dark because the exposure, obviously. <laughs> the sun has kind of gone. So, but anyway, so this is what I use. So what I did was, usually I would apply my eyeshadow first, or this first, but today I'm going to apply this first, so... What I usually do is I just take this and then tap off the excess and then take my mirror and then you'd see this and then I just put it right there. Can you see that? Can you see the difference it's made? It's kind of warmed up my eyelids because the primer was a bit too like pasty, if that makes sense. Like it was a bit too pasty, it looked a bit weird, like off and ashy. So that's what I do. I just take my paste powder, apply, and then it looks. So apply as much as you need. So for me, I feel like this is enough. And then you see it's brought color back into my into my eyes. And then next, I would go in with. So now, like I said before, the eyeshadow. So I'll just open the Mina eyeshadow. So this is what's going to go on, on my actual lid like this and then obviously tap off the excess and then just do apply so can you see that i don't know if you guys can actually see that so this is amina shadow and then you see also the primer helps the color like come out even more Okay guys so I'm basically done with the base so all I've done is to apply the shadow like literally along the crease okay yeah would you say the crease you know when people do crease cut crease eyeshadow tutorial so what I've done is I've just made sure to bring the eyeshadow all the way on my actual lid so it's up to there remember where we put the uh, my face powder is right here on the outside part and then okay so something else I've learned as I've been going along with practicing my eyeshadow applying skills is that 
if you want your eyes like the idea with eyeshadow is that when you're applying eyeshadow just apply the lighter color here all over your lid put the transition color so the color that doesn't make it look like the eyeshadow is applied too harshly or there's a big difference between your eyebrow and like your eyes the colors is weird so you apply the lighter color right here and then you do your transition color which was my face powder on the outside and then to create some sort of depth and make you look like wow your eyeshadow game is on point <laughs> is that you just take a darker color and for me yeah you just take, anyway you take a darker color and then apply it right on the outside so you can actually do it in a v-shape so you see your eye you can do it like this so here and then obviously do the same on the other side so it kind of makes you look like your eyes now have more depth okay so just to demonstrate what i was saying is for me what i used yesterday or rather in this particular eyeshadow look that i shared is that <laughs> i use my sleek palette so this is a contour shade this is a sleek contour kit F sleek face contour kit in medium so number 885 and then what you would do is now as you can see i've definitely hit pan this is a highlighter part and then this is a contour part i've definitely hit pan but it's okay i still use it actually even to contour um so what i do is i just take a little from here so i take some color and then i use this is a what brush it's a base shadow brush but i use I, I prefer using it to blend my eyeshadow to be honest so you just take some that's the color and then what I do is I just come on the edge of my eye and then you see I take it like from halfway half my eye where like the other half of my eye starts then I just take the color and then I just apply it okay so there you have your eyeshadow look very simple very easy to do very simple quite easy and makes you look like you really know your eyeshadow game but you're just winging it <laughs> another tip is that you could also highlight your brow bone so for me what i usually do is i use the same color from the sleek palette and this is the one i take this is a highlighter it's so overexposed but it's a really subtle color for your brow bone highlight then what i'll do is just Wipe off the excess of the eyeshadow here, the one I used for the base, the Mina one. Then I just go in with this, very little. Then I just go to my brow bone. Then I go to my brow bone and like just dab on some highlight. And then, so now to complete the look, what I like to do is if I want my lashes to look fuller, especially from the root, I really like tight lining. So in yesterday's look, I did tight line. So this is what I use to tight line. This is um, the Maybelline New York uh, Colossal Kajal Liner. This is black. It's, uh, what's it called? It's called Extra Black. So it's 12 hours stay apparently. And it really does stay, honestly. <laughs> so what I do is I tight line. I really hate lining the waterline. So I tight line, which means I go up on the upper lash line and then line it. So this is how I look before tight lining. And then as I'm tight lining,
so I've tight lined then now I'm just gonna apply my mascara which is also Maybelline guys I use a lot of Maybelline products what I use a lot of Maybelline products um, so my favorite favorite mascara as usual is the Maybelline lash sensational mascara with one with the lashes oil blend I love this so much because it lengthens and volumizes my lashes like they, they look really good after so when you do that I just come close like look at myself in the mirror I have the mirror here and I just okay guys so that would mark like generally the end of your eyeshadow tutorial I've done the other eye and then you see how like your face actually looks really really done but then just to finish the look to bring it more together I've forgotten to wear lipstick so let me wear lipstick and then show you guys wait actually I can wear it on camera because it's a new lipstick that I've never tried which I received from Makeup Academy Cosmetics this is a color I'm gonna wear it on my lips it's a matte lipstick and the shade is called um, wild berry so and it looks so look at that color what it looks so good so i'm just gonna try it out for you guys and could be also a review in a way for you guys just so you guys can see but also i'm gonna line it with this mina um the pencil because i feel like it kind of would go with it in a way okay guys my battery is dying and this lipstick is really not applying as I thought it would so I'm just gonna stop the video here but I hope you guys can see that this is how you can have a very simple eyeshadow look you could also wear obviously you, just because it's a very neutral but like subtle eyeshadow color you can almost wear any color of lips of lipstick that you would want to wear you can wear any color highlight just just to finish and put the look together but what I'm loving is that the eyeshadow look is so nice and it kind of makes you look like you made an effort. Can you see my eyes? Like, if you could just see my eyes without um, the lipstick, you can see that I've worn eyeshadow and you can actually tell that I did apply something on my eyes. So what I love about it is that you can see it and it's a great color, but I'm not really feeling the lipstick. But just for the sake of the video, I'm just going to stop here and really hope you enjoyed that tutorial and I hope you learned something from it. And please, please, please subscribe, like, share and click the notification bell if you want to be part of this growing group so i hope you learned something and i will see you in my next video bye guys